and each year we see more and more small businesses pop up. But a recent study says the Grand Canyon State ranks number 10 in the highest rate of small business failures in their first year. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez talked to two local businesses to hear the struggles they have faced and shares the latest numbers. According to the Lending Tree, about 25% of small businesses in Arizona fail within the first year. Nationwide, that number is a little lower at 23%. One local small business was able to get over that first year hump, but says that there are still some struggles. I'm very young. I'm 65. I can work another 10 years or 20 years more. We don't know. Authentico Sabore Italiano owner Mario Gaidin says his restaurant has been open for over two years, beating this statistic. At first, he started small. When I started here, it was uh, only panini, and uh, we had the meat tray, but now we have uh, much more. We have antipasti, we have a pinza romana, nine kind of pinza romana, it's like a pizza. But Gaidin says it has not been easy. So my challenge is improve. We don't have a traffic. Uh, people, they have to come inside the Colorado River State Park. So you have to park in the parking lot. Adding the summers when winter visitors are not here are the hardest time of the year. Another business seeing trouble this time of year, cute nails. One couple decided to buy the business in August of last year rather than start one from scratch. A little over a year and a half ago, we were both working and we decided that, you know, we want to branch out and be our own bosses. and. Uh, you know, we didn't really know what we were getting into. Um, needless to say, it's, uh, it's been a trip. One local organization offers many resources for entrepreneurs who have started or are trying to keep their businesses going. One of them is an app. They can utilize Life Plan at no cost, or of course, if they're thinking about going and obtaining lending from a lending institution. To learn more about the resources available for small businesses in Yuma, you can visit our website at KYMA.com. Reporting in Yuma, Varela Rodriguez, News 11.